Okay. Before any barbering service, the client needs to be appropriately draped for the service. Draping is the term used to describe the covering on the client's skin and clothing with a cape and a barrier at the neck band for their protection. Proper draping for the service being performed is required to maintain compliance with state barber laws and infection control standards in the barbershop. Depending on the procedure to be performed, you will drape a client for either a wet service or a dry service. Wet services, such as shampooing and chemical applications, require protection from liquids. Dry service, such as a haircut or a beard trim, do not require this type of protection, so it is important to use the appropriate drape for the service. Two main types of drapes used are shampoo capes or wet capes and haircutting capes, also known as chair cloths. A shampoo cape is waterproof. It's a waterproof drape made of vinyl that is used to protect the client's skin and clothing from water, liquids, and chemical processes. The haircutting capes are made of nylon or other synthetic materials. These draping fabrics are usually more comfortable for the client because they do not hold in as much body heat as vinyl capes. From the barber's standpoint, these fabrics are also more effective for shedding wet and dry hair. Wet hair has a tendency to stick to vinyl capes, making it more difficult to shake loose hairs off of the drape. Next, let's talk about draping methods, okay? The method of draping to be used depends on the service to be performed. There are several draping methods used in the barbershop and all require the use of a barrier, which could be a towel or a neck strip between the client's neck and the neck band of the cape. The barriers used are listed below, and <clears throat> we're going to talk about those, okay? Number one, for a shampoo service, a cloth towel is positioned under the cape and folded over the neckband once the cape is secure. Excuse me. Another option for the shampoo service is to place a second towel over the cape neckline, secured with a clip to use for blotting the hair after the shampoo procedure. Next, chemical service. A chemical service always, require, always requires a cloth towel under the cape and folded over the neckband once the cape is secured, followed by a cloth towel over the cape neckline and secured with a clip to provide protection from solution or chemical drips. Next, a haircut service. For a haircut service, draping includes the use of a neck strip under and then folded over the neckband of the cape. For a mustache or beard trim service, this service requires either a neck strip or a cloth towel placed under and then folded over the neckband of the cape. Some barbers prefer to use a terry cloth towel for beard trims because the cloth fibers are more effective in trapping hair clippings than a neck strip. And last, for a shave surface service, the shave service requires a special draping method to ensure that a barrier between the client's skin and the drape remain in place during the procedure. All right. Uh, let's see what else I got to say. OK. Although several draping methods are presented in this text, your instructor's methods would be correct as well. Hey, everybody, they talking about me. As long as there is a barrier between the client's neck and the neck band of the cape. And that's what I say all the time. Look, if you got a barrier established, we good. OK. Um, Consider important guidelines for draping. Important guidelines are such as follows. Prepare materials and supplies for the service. Makes sense. Wash your hands, of course. Ask the client to remove jewelry, if any, and store it in a safe place. Listen, y'all. Listen, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. When you have female clients, they do not want to get rid of their jewelry and take it off. Make them take it off, particularly Earrings. Do you know why? Because a lot of times those earrings are going to hit that uh, neckline of the bowl of the shampoo bowl when they lay their head back. This right here is going to be getting in the way. OK, and it's probably going to be getting wet and all that stuff when you're trying to shampoo around this area of the ear. OK, trust me, tell them to remove it. OK, if, if even if it's a, a matter of when they call you on the phone or when they, they message you or when they request a service, you tell them, all right, look, don't come down here with all this jewelry. OK, it's usually for me, for me and my experience as a barber it's usually the women that for whatever reason, they have a hard time with that step. I don't 
I don't know what that's about. Okay. Turn the client's collar to the inside if applicable. Yeah. So if they come in with like polo shirts that's got the collar, <laughs> pop the collar and then fold it under. Okay. It'll it'll help you. Okay. And it'll most likely keep them from their shirts getting wet. Okay. And then proceed with the appropriate draping method. All right. Next video, we are going to get into understanding the shampoo surface. 